Yeah, that's fine. Four, one, one. Wow. All right. Lob Dickel there. It's pretty rare. Hi, everybody. We're kind of coming in mid-match. So, so far, Jackie and Zhao Mei are up. I think they're a very tough team in the fact that they just make a bunch of balls. Wow. <laughs> we're really grateful for the players for being a little flexible today. We've had some rain. We've been indoors, outdoors. Uh, we finally have some clear skies. So hopefully we can finish all these bronze and gold medal matches outdoors. It's perfect right now, about 78 degrees, very little wind. A lot of humidity, though. So that's what's making for a lot of longer points. Ball is definitely moving a lot slower. Wow. Zhao Mei is just so fast and dangerous. Um, you know, I haven't really seen him play mix much before, Matt. Maybe you you have, but I've just been really impressed with his court coverage and his shot making. This might actually, everyone thinks he's a singles player, but mix might be one of his best events. Wow, it's been amazing, you know, when he's teaming up with Jackie. Uh, great run into the bronze medal match. Definitely look for this partnership to continue with some more tournaments going forward. Huge drive. forehand drive. Have to keep it away from Deckel's forehand on the return, right? Can't yeah. Give him a third there. They've had a slow start, but I think this is where they can kind of make it, make a run. It's just his big serve and then drive. It's hard to get get it away from him. Jeez. Huge serve. What a shot. It's a great spot. Very tough ball from Zhao Mei. And it is 1-5-2. No, it's 4-8-2 uh, right now. The oh, score the on screen is, is wrong, yeah. Sounds good. So Deco and Tina are kind of on a little bit of a run. I think they came in at 1-8. Uh, they started out just a little bit slow, making a few errors, but they're kind of starting to find their rhythm now. Oh, wow. Can't believe she got away with that one. 
That is where I think Jackie is one of the best mix players, though, is her ability to be crafty and go behind the guy. She also takes some risk in doing it, and it shouldn't have, but it did pay out there. And that's kind of been a little bit of the theme this match is uh, just a few inconsistencies in getting to the line and a few missed opportunities. Wow, what a shot. Jackie's holding disguise. Tina did not even see that coming, and to be honest, neither did I. And we're going to have our second timeout, a good timeout. Oh, wait. Nope. They're not calling a timeout. Coming back. Fake outs. I'm sorry, guys. So we're going to have our game point. Oh, just missed it. Well, that's the danger in returning to Jackie. She has one of the best drops, and Jaume is so quick and such a good po poacher. But also, Jaume is very dangerous if you're giving him the drives because he's one of the better singles players. So, no safe spot. All right, we're having a challenge of Jaume's Ernie. And I think he's clean. We're gonna get a different look at that. But from first glance, that looked okay, but always a good challenge on the Ernie's. Right. Maybe on the landing, nope. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if if I were to say Okay. So Looking at this, I don't know what you saw, Matt, but I would definitely say he's clean. I'm just now getting a look at I the don't replay. Think... Yep. Look, I would say yeah, he's clean. Like he, he cleared definitely it. clean on the takeoff and landing there. But it's hard to tell. Always a good challenge. But that's it's tough because Jackie has one of the more penetrating dinks, and I know Tina definitely favors the left side in women's doubles. I play women's doubles with her a bit, and she has, uh, we each have uh, dink preferentials, and I know she, um, she definitely prefers the left side. So to get Deckel involved a lot, she likes to dink down the line, but Jaume is actually just so quick and so good at seeing this, so it's a good setup. I love the first-hand insight you bring to the commentary booth, Leia. Oh, 
just did not get deep enough. We had a few lobs there. Always good to try. Underutilized in my game, and I definitely, I had one successful one yesterday, and I should have done it more. Good cover by Tina. Going back behind Jaume there. But I really like the structure of the points um, for Deco and Tina to start with. They're definitely getting more into their rhythm. Just a little bit of a high drive there. And just a reminder, guys, we are live on Fox National TV for our men's doubles pro. They're currently in game number three. Ben and Colin Johns are down two games, but actually winning in the third. It's 10-7 in the third after dropping the first two games, 11-7, 11-7. That is live on Fox National from one to three. Nail our first fighter. championship Sunday match of the day. That's a big serve right there, just on the line. That's kind of just been their kryptonite. Just uh, like we saw there, a uh, high drive by Deco and just a miss fifth. Yeah. Yeah. Same there. Shot, yeah. Same there, yeah. Tina loves her backhand. And a big side out there. That was, yeah, that had a lot of everything. That's what it takes. That's a big one for Jackie and Jaume because that's the rotation that's been giving them a little bit of trouble. Nice reach in right there. And Tina did a good job staying in that pattern and really penetrating Jackie back. Oh. Replay on that. Holds it, waits till he moves, and beautiful. I think Jackie could really just kind of a, teach a master class on ball movement. Just a little miscommunication there and a little unfortunate. That's interesting. Yame and Jackie's first tournament together, but Dekel and Tina, they've played together all year, so Yeah, and they've been a difference there. They've been a formidable force pretty much all year. Oh, she missed it. It's a good setup though. Yeah, would you say that Declan and Tina are maybe the number three mixed doubles? Top five. 
Top five for sure. Yeah. yeah, they're definitely up there. They've been to finals. They're consistently making quarters, semis. And you know they're a really good team because whenever they lose, people deem it an upset. seen a little bit of Yami when he gets a soft backhand dink. He's looking to attack. Yeah, I mean, he has one asset um, that I think a lot of men need to learn for mixed doubles, and it's to attack from their left foot with a two-hander. You see Deckel do it. You see all pretty much all the best of them do it. And he's dangerous on both sides off the bounce, which doesn't really leave a lot of safe place. But when you do that, you have to expect a counterattack back. Do you think that he's sitting in forehand? On the I, next one? I, I literally think it's the spot he depends upon. Mm. Or, you know, probably knowing Jaume, I just think he's reacting. He's got some of the quickest hands, in my opinion. Just missed that dink volley short. Definitely one of the most consistent dinkers on tour. Oh, just missed. Look where he took off from this. Just shallow enough, and that's an inch higher. What great anticipation to even see that off a of middle dink. Three, three, two. Just in. I'm actually surprised that goal didn't go for a lot more there. That's the rotation that's been giving them a lot of trouble, especially when they're on a stack. But I think there's a little bit of wind, so he played it safe. Jame had a great return. What a point. Super high level of play right now. Challenge. We have a challenge. Oh, okay. So we had it the other way. They called a foot fault maybe. And, and Jaume was going to and Jao may challenge that he was clean. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that one is tough to overturn right there. If in, you got to trust that the ref saw it in person. that time they were Jackie elected to stay on the left and they're going to switch it back here they've been doing this a lot this tournament and I think a lot of guys should pay attention to Jaume if you have the ability to play both sides and something's not working what a shot what, <laughs> what a shot 
from the midcourt, swings, misdirect. Both Jackie and Jade, in my opinion, are the best blockers into like different directions that really get you. Great nice hands right too, there. Yeah. It's tough. So I think Deckel's gonna call a timeout. They've been doing a few phantom timeouts. I think they're coming and they're not. I would call a timeout right here, Matt, would you? Yeah, I think so. Again, just low enough. Jackie does a really good job of digging in tight to the line. Not a bad look by Deckel. Oh my gosh, she goes to the well again. Deckel's going to have to stay home or at least sit back in. I mean, we see players try and go behind Deckel all the time. Is yeah, he just he, leaning? Well, he's just so big in the middle, and it's not just Deckel. It's it's Alshon. It's all the really good mixed guys because they're putting so much pressure across court, but they're also leaving that open, and a lot of the best mixed girls are taking their risks behind because it pays off like that. No, it, it was 8 3 one. Yeah. So coming up next, we're going to have Tyson McGuffin versus Kwong Dong, who is our newly crowned men's doubles champion. Congrats to him and Christian Alshon over the Johns Brothers and straight. No easy feat. smart they elected to stay there uh, at the end of the first game it kind of got them in a little bit of trouble trying to switch that there's the diversity of Jaume as a mixed doubles player I'm just hyping him up as a mixed doubles partner That's just a classic old school pickleball point. Just kind of waiting them out. for the ball. Yeah. All right, here's our duper head to head. Looks like a pretty even matchup. But it's kind of been a little bit one-sided so far. get an opportunity against Yame, his hands are so good. Yeah, and his defense is really good as well. So he, he has the ability to both counter and block and play in the midcourt. Mm -hmm. 
And I think that's what Deckel's just gonna have to. <laughs> I think um, that's what Deckel's gonna have to do right now. He's just gonna have to take some risk, go for broke. Granted, it's very tough to do, but he doesn't know if he's gonna get another side out. What a so shot. Good, yeah. And they were one point away from beating Christian Alshon and Anna Bright yesterday morning. One point away from Championship Sunday. So, for a first time partnership, this might be up there with one of the best. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, what a shot. She's there. What do you say, Matt? Their chemistry is pretty evident. Yeah, I mean, incredible tournament and match mm -hmm. point here at 10 3. What a lob. Yep. And honestly, I, I, if I were Deckville and Tina, I would maybe just play a few points like that. They've been stuck at three since for about. Ten minutes now, it seems. Three, ten, one. And Dekul is very diverse as well. He's obviously better on the left, but he's pretty dangerous on the right as well, and he plays the right at MLP. Yeah, really, that's a good point from Dekul there. Nice shot. Going behind him and waiting. Boom. And that was our Holland America shot of the day, that backhand around the post, a beauty from Mr. Deckel Bar. Thank you, Holland America, for sponsoring the PPA tour. That was a highlight for Deckel Bar. those dinks to Yame's backhand. And we get another look from the Holland America shot of the day from Deckel Bar on that around the post. Thank you, Pickleball TV, for that replay. 10-0. From a good shot to a clean winner. Deckel having the quickness to stop and get that and ooh, not a net bounce. We're back in uh, bronze medal. It's 6-10, Deckel Bar serving. Oh, such a good play. And that's what Deckel's really uh, been doing a good job of since they decided out, just adding some extra pressure. And now he's, Jackie's gone to the well one too many times. He's definitely ready for it now. Frustrated with that. That was a good fend off from a really good flick. And they switch for match point. 
Becky's just a left side mix player. And congrats, <laughs> congrats to them. First time part.